Hey there, AI enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into the world of cognitive AI chatbots and their potential to help individuals with ADHD. We'll be taking a closer look at Comigo, a chatbot designed specifically for managing ADHD symptoms. Now, Comigo is no ordinary chatbot. It goes beyond just offering personalized advice. It helps with task organization and planning, provides positive reinforcement, and even tracks your progress. Sounds pretty cool, right? But hold on a second, some of you might be thinking, can a chatbot really address the complex and varied symptoms of ADHD? Well, you're not alone in your skepticism. Some of our commenters have expressed concerns about the effectiveness of such apps. They emphasize the importance of emotional tools, social support, and finding positive motivations. And you know what? They have a point. Managing ADHD is not just about having an app tell you what to do. It's about finding strategies that work for you and building a support system around you. Now, let's talk about medication options. One of our commenters mentioned guanthacine, a medication that has shown promise in treating ADHD symptoms. But here's the thing, finding the right treatment for ADHD can be a real challenge. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution. In the comments, people have shared their personal experiences with different medications and strategies for managing ADHD symptoms. And that's what makes this discussion so valuable, hearing from others who have been there and finding what works for you. So, whether you're considering trying out a cognitive AI chatbot like Comigo or exploring medication options, remember that managing ADHD is a journey. It's about finding the right tools, building a support system, and staying motivated. And hey, if you found something that works for you, share it in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going and help each other out. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting AI news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.